what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an eye look with the new ABH Times Jackie Ina palette. I love ABH. I love Jackie Ina. I am so sorry for the delay with doing any looks with this palette. Life has just been busy between being in my competition prep for my bodybuilding competition, salon life, back to school. Things just kind of got crazy, but I've got my whole schedule under control. And then of course, still making sure I'm studying for my nutrition certification. So a lot's going on. For the month of September will be a no buy month for me. So what I do is every other month, I just kind of flip flop. So August I bought makeup, September I won't and go back and forth. So I'm gonna make it my duty to try to bring you maybe at least two more looks with this eyeshadow palette. You guys know Jackie Ina is the queen of extra. She admits to being extra, but you know I am the keep it simple kind of girl. So we're gonna use her extra palette, which I do really, really like and enjoy. But we're just gonna do my keep it simple spin and approach on it. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, zoom you in closer. We are first going to prime the eye using Urban Decay Primer Potion and Caffeine. If you don't need primer potion, if you don't need eyeshadow primer, girl, skip it. That is okay. What works for me might not work for you and everyone does not need every single product on the market. Everything ain't for everybody. Please keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, so y'all know we're keeping this simple. The first shade that we are going to go in with is Edges. This beautiful matte tone, orangey undertone, burnt orange. And I'm gonna tilt my head up so I can make sure I really get a good angle of this going into my crease. So as I'm tilting my head up, but I'm not closing my eye all the way, because I feel like a lot of times we tend to close our eye. And the thing is, especially depending on your eye set, if you do all of your work with your eye closed, which I rarely ever do on myself, and you open your eye, it's gonna look totally different. So start it mostly right here on that bone, that socket, and then I'm just gonna start blending it down. A little more. And notice how far back my hand is on the brush. When you go up too high, you're kind of choking the brush, it's too much pressure. When you're really trying to give a nice soft blend, you wanna hold your brush back. Hold your brush back. Make sure your hand is further away on the brush. Because how you hold it makes a difference in the blend and the amount of pressure. All right, now taking a flat brush, we're gonna go in with Wigglies. I have been waiting to use this shade for this specific eye look. I made sure when I went live with this palette that I didn't do it because I knew I wanted to save it for a tutorial. And this is going all over the lid and on the outer, if it gets on the crease, that is okay. Then we're just gonna start blending that up into edges. I have a flat detailer brush and I am just going to start lining my waterline with it, making sure I connect on the outer here. And then for the inner tear, we're gonna go in with Zam, just this beautiful gold shimmer. I think, yeah, this is one of those pressed pigments. And my brush is not wet. Just make sure with this one, you do tap off because it does have fallback on it. Wigglies doesn't have any fallout at all. Then I'm just going to line the top with some felt liner. It's black. And for mascara, Benefit Bad Gal Bang. There we go, so MAC Powder Kisses and Impulsive. And then we're going to top it with Bite Beauty French Press Gloss and Salted Caramel. 
and voila, this is our eye look. Super simple. So I hope you enjoyed this eye look. I know this particular shade might not be a shade that everyone would maybe bust out and wear to work. Again, I'm a hair colorist and makeup artist, so therefore I can kind of play around with different colors, but don't worry because I've got more looks coming down below. Let me know if you have this palette, if you plan on purchasing it, what are some specific tones that you want to see me use. Also, ABH is about to come out with another eyeshadow palette, which completely blew my mind as well. I know for sure I'm going to be getting that one but first I really want to make sure that I am bringing you looks with this palette so you guys know the deal keep it simple and I will see you in the next video peace